Hi, I'm Jocelyn Mercado, the founder of Sacred Planet, and I am sharing this video with you today to share how your money stories might be hurting your business and what to do about it. So what are your money stories? Your money stories are your ideas and beliefs about money and specifically about your relationship with money. So usually these beliefs were formed pretty early on in our either childhood or our teenage years. So they might have been formed as a kid when we were watching our parents, maybe when it came time to pay the bills each month, and just listening and observing. So, you know, did our parents always say that there was never enough money? Um, did our parents say that as soon as money came in, it went right out the door? We would pick up on these beliefs as a child, and we would take them to be true because they were coming from, you know, adult authority figures in our lives. Your money stories also could have been formed or enhanced by your experiences when you first got into the workforce. So when you were in your teens or in your 20s and you got your first job or first couple of, of job experiences, what were the ideas around money that you experienced at that time and that were maybe handed to you by your coworkers or by your supervisors in those jobs? And then also we form our money stories based on what's going on in society around us. So very likely um, you are seeing what's happening in the world as far as the environmental devastation and you're seeing how these big oil companies or the logging companies um, are wanting to make more and more money even at the cost of harming the earth, of you know, cutting down the rainforest or whatever it might be. So we get these certain ideas about money and about how money is used in our world and we form our money stories. So based on your experiences about money from childhood all the way up until now, you could have some certain ideas about money and what money is all about. So examples of your money story might include, for example, the idea that money is bad or that money leads to corruption because maybe that's what you've seen happening in the world and the political situation and the economic situation of today. Um, we often, very, very many of us have the idea that money what is um, that only greedy or bad or evil people have money, right? Or that if I get a lot of money, uh, that will make me greedy or bad. There's also the idea, if we are a spiritual person or a highly conscious person or somebody who is, um, you know, very, very focused on doing good in the world and making the world a better place, we may very often have the idea that I can't be a spiritual person and have a lot of money, or I can't be a good person and have a lot of money. And then there's also that belief um, that we may have experienced as a kid or that may have been our experience in life, you know, more recently that whenever money comes to me, it goes right out the door very quickly. So all of these beliefs can prevent us from expanding and growing our business. So let me tell you how that works. In order to grow and expand your business, you certainly want to become more visible. You certainly want to have more people recognize your work. You want to become known as an expert or a thought leader in your field. And so when we have these beliefs that if I get a lot of money, it will make me a bad person, or, my, or if I get a lot of money, it would lead to some form of corruption, you know, or I wouldn't be doing the right thing. Um, or if we have a belief that whenever the money comes in, it goes right out the door again, that can actually, at a very subconscious level, prevent us from taking on new opportunities to grow our business. And it can especially prevent us from taking situations where we would be able to become more visible. Maybe if we want to do a podcast, or maybe if we want to create an online course and put it out there, or maybe if we want to become a speaker, you know, we might be holding back from those situations because we have this idea, oh my gosh, if I make it really big, or if I actually become successful in this, I'll get more money and that will make me a bad person. Now, these beliefs work on a very sneaky level, a very subconscious level, right? And they can even keep us from seeing opportunities that are right in front of us. So we want to really eradicate these money beliefs because here's the truth. The truth is that through your business, you want to help people in some way. You want to do some kind of good work in the world, right? You are not the oil companies. <laughs> you are not the you know, politicians that are using money in the wrong ways. You are someone who wants to do good, honest work and who wants to create positive change in the world or help people in some way. So the truth is that money makes us more of who we really are. When we receive more money, that gives us more freedom to do 
our true and honest work, okay? It also gives us the freedom to, if we want to, donate to important causes that are doing amazing work in the world. So I want you to know that for the sake of your business, it is so important for you to be able to really and truly accept money in. I know in your business, you probably want to see more cash flow, and this is one way that you can work with on a subconscious level that is going to create tremendous change for you. So let me share a little bit more about this. So I want to, first of all, just to kind of shift your framework, if you have these ideas running that I can't be spiritual or I can't be a good person and have lots of money, I just want to give you some examples of people who are doing amazing, incredible work in the world and have lots of money flowing to them and are using that money to do really amazing things. So one is uh, an organization called the Pachamama Alliance. Now the Pachamama Alliance is based in San Francisco and they are working with the indigenous people of the Amazon rainforest. So they're working with them on a few different levels. One is to preserve the rainforest. Another is to keep the oil companies and the logging companies out of the territories of the peoples that they're working with. And another one is that they're working with them to preserve their traditional indigenous cultures so that they don't get wiped out or eradicated as the kind of the modern world moves in and encroaches on them more and more. So they are doing this beautiful work, which is helping all of us because we know we need to keep our rainforest intact in order for life as we know it to continue, right? And they're also helping these indigenous peoples to preserve their, their traditional culture. So they're doing really amazing work. Now the Pachamama Alliance is run by, um, or was founded by uh, Lynn Twist and Bill Twist and John Perkins, okay? And so these three individuals are people who had a certain amount of money and came together to form this organization. And they continue to you know, do fundraising and bring money in. Lots and lots of people donate to them and they're using that money to go and save the rainforest or to go and save the indigenous cultures as well as lots of other important and amazing work that they're doing. So this is one example that we can really use as a model that we can strive for. And even if your business is completely different from what the Pachamama Alliance is doing, I want you to take away from this that when you have more money flowing in, you will be able to do more of your good work in the world. Another example like this is Tree Sisters. Now, this is an organization um, founded by a woman named Claire Dubois, and she's an amazing, incredible person. And she and her team do a lot of fundraising to bring money in, and they use the money to go and plant trees and to reforest certain areas of the planet that have been hit hard by deforestation or by oil drilling or whatever it might be. And so, again, this is a, an example of people who are bringing in large amounts of money and then directing it in really amazing ways. Now, I believe that as entrepreneurs and especially as online entrepreneurs in today's world, we have an amazing example to really rework the economic system. Okay, we have an amazing opportunity to come in and to make money and to direct it in ways that are going to do good and amazing things in the world. So I encourage you to see the work that you're doing. And again, it doesn't have to be a bit about reforesting the planet or saving the Amazon rainforest. Whatever work you're doing, you are trying to help people. You are trying to get more freedom for yourself so that you can do more good in the world. Okay, so really think about your business on those terms. It's not that you're trying to take money away from people at all. You are trying to receive a flow of financial abundance so that you can do more good work in the world. And I'd be willing to bet that if you had enough money, you would donate to really amazing causes like these two that I just spoke about, right? So you want to be able to bring more money into, into through your business, into your life, so that you can do more of all of this and so that your business can grow and expand so that you can have the financial resources that you need for you and your family, right? So let's really work with this. Let's look at your money stories. What are the money stories that you are running, that you are carrying around in your mind and that come in and start talking to you whenever a new opportunity comes up and maybe preventing you from taking that opportunity or maybe preventing you from even seeing that opportunity? So think back to your childhood now and think back to what were the messages that you received from your parents or your grandparents or maybe your teachers in school or other authority figures in your life at that time about money. Just think about it, maybe write a couple down if, you, if, if something comes to mind. And then also think about when you were in your teens or 20s and first starting to work. 
what were the money stories that you formed? What were the beliefs around money that were created at that time? And now just think in general, you know, based on your whole life that you've lived up till now and based on the, you know, what you see happening in society, do you carry any of these stories like money is bad or I can't be a spiritual or good person and have money or as soon as money comes in the door, it flows right out. Another one that's really, really common is just the scarcity one of there's never enough money, right? And when we run that again and again, we're always telling ourselves there's never enough money. Well, that's going to be your experience because what we focus on is what we bring into being. So I'm going to give you two key ways to really shift this in your life. And so the first, so there are two key ways coming up, but before I give you those, there's something really important that you need to know. Whatever your experience with money has been up until now, doesn't matter. Whatever patterns you have been running and stories that you've been running about money, you have the opportunity to change them right now, okay, to initiate that change. Now, it's not going to be like flipping a switch and everything's completely different from you for you from this day forward, but you get to set an intention right now, and I encourage you to write this down too in a journal or whatever piece of paper you have handy. I set the intention never to fall back into my old money stories again. Okay, or to put that in positive terms, I set the intention to create brand new abundant money stories for myself going forward. Because these old stories, the ones that we tend to get trapped in, are usually pretty negative, okay? They're usually around scarcity. And we get to choose. It doesn't matter what has happened in the past, we get to create a new future starting right now. And I'm gonna give you two powerful ways to do that. So the first one is to bring awareness to what your money stories are. So take what came up for you just now when, we, when I asked you what are your money stories, look at what you've written down there. And also, you know, even after this video is over, spend a little bit of time just thinking back to your childhood or thinking about how you relate to money now and today, right? And, and write them down. Write down whatever comes up around beliefs around money. And then start looking for these and how they pop up in your day-to-day -day life. So as you're going throughout your day, what do you think about money, right? Or when you see someone driving a really expensive car, what thoughts run through your mind? Um, or when you see another online business owner who's like really, really made it and they're really successful, what thoughts run through your mind, you know? Are you, are you sending negative energy out as you think about these people? because you wanna really shift that. You wanna shift that because when you know that you can change your own money story, wouldn't you love to be in their shoes? I bet that you would, and it wouldn't make you a bad person. It would make you a more free person. It would make you a person who is more able to do your amazing work in whatever ways you want. So when you identify that one of these money stories is coming up, that the negative voices are talking in your head, there are four steps to what you need to do. And these are really simple, but I encourage you to write them down because they are powerful. So the first one is just to notice it, to be the calm, neutral observer. Okay, don't get all upset at yourself. That's very important too. Don't, don't go into blame and judgment on yourself. Okay, just notice that that belief is coming up. Okay, so whatever it is, you're thinking, oh, that per that's a bad person because they have a nice car. Right? We do that. We all do that. I do that. Right? I try not to. I bring awareness to it, but we all do that. So... So bring awareness to that thought, okay? Step one is just to, to notice it. Step two is don't be hard on yourself. Don't beat up on yourself for having that thought. This is a natural part of who we are as human beings, okay? We have these stories that are running. We have these negative voices that talk in our head, right? So this is not your fault, but this is something you can shift and change, okay? Then the third step here is to know that you can overcome this old belief. This is just an old belief system that you have. You don't have to live in that anymore. So just know that you can change this. And then what you wanna do is, you wanna create a statement that directly contradicts what your money belief is, okay? What your money story is. So if your money story is that people who have a lot of money are bad or evil in some way, then you wanna have a statement such as, Money allows me to be more free and to be more of who I really am so I can do more good work in the world. 
And that's a really good statement right there. If you don't know what you want yours to be, write that one down and keep it, okay? And keep it in mind or even keep it on a little piece of paper to refer back to because whenever the negative money beliefs and the negative money stories come up, you want to bring awareness to them, know that you can overcome them, and then say that statement to yourself, that positive statement. When I have more money, I can be more free to be myself and more free to do my amazing good work in the world. And you want to say that to yourself whenever the negative stories come up. And what will happen is, so this is, this is all very subconscious work that you're doing. So those, are, those old subconscious beliefs are very deeply rooted. The idea is that money is bad. People who have money are evil, et cetera, et cetera. They're very deeply rooted. You've probably held them for most of your life. But when you have this positive statement and you say it every single time you notice a negative money belief coming up, that positive statement is going to start gradually. Again, this doesn't happen in one second, but gradually over time as you continue to do that, it will start to root out and displace the old belief because you will recognize that the new statement is new, or is, is true, right? With your um, thinking mind as well as your subconscious mind, both of those on both levels will recognize this new statement is actually more true than the old one. So over time, your life and the way opportunities come up for you and your business will come more and more into alignment with this positive statement. This is really, really powerful. So I really, really, you know, write this down or come back and watch the video again and make sure you've got all of this because it is going to shift and change things for you in your life. Now I said I would give you two ways to work with this. That was the first way. The second way is to set the intention today. And again, write this down. Set the intention right now to be on the lookout for more ways to be visible with your business and with your important work. Look out for new opportunities to come up and even seek out new opportunities that you might not have done before. And then, so, so just saying that, just setting that intention and writing it down, or saying it out loud to yourself is going to open you up to being able to receive new opportunities that you may have never even realized were there before, okay? And when the opportunities come to you and when you get the chance, say yes to them. Make sure to say yes because here's, the, here's where the money beliefs and the money stories get really sneaky is that you may have an opportunity that comes up or somebody invites you to, I don't know, co-lead a workshop with them, or you learn about how to create YouTube videos to make more money in your business, and you can turn it down. Because that money story might still be in there saying, oh, you don't want to do that. That, would make, that might make you a bad person. And so you have to be really, really aware of this. You might not even know that's why you said no to the opportunity in the past, but it could be. So you want to make sure that when the opportunities come up, say yes. So say yes to being more visible. Say yes to growing your business. Say yes to expanding into new opportunities. All right. Well, I hope this has been helpful for you. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you want to learn more about my work, you can check out my YouTube channel, which is right here, Sacred Planet. Please go ahead and uh, chat in the comments and let me know what you thought about this video. And also you can visit me on my website, which is www.wearesacredplanet.com. And that is all one word. Okay. Well, thank you for watching. Hope you have a wonderful day.